Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about this great packet manipulation tool called Scappy. You can use this as a tool to create tools. Like using this, you can create a packet on the fly and send it away. Look at the response. Like you can do what uh, what you do with Nmap. About 80% of what you do with Nmap using this tool if you know what you're doing. So let's have a look at and see what we can do with it. I already have a uh, scap installed here. I'll go ahead and run it. So let's say I want to create an IP packet. I'll call it not IP, I'll call it X. Uh, X equal IP. I'm calling the IP function to create an IP packet. So if I look at my newly created IP packet, There it is. It's an IPv IP version 4 packet and it has no flag set, TTL of 64, source and destination port set to 127001 by default. So simple as we have a IP packet created for us. If you want to know what packets are supported by Scappy, just call ls open bracket close bracket it'll show all the packets supported by Scappy. If it's not there, don't worry, you can create whatever the packet you want, like if it's not a standard one, don't worry. If you want to create an unstandard packet, Scappy will let you do that. Just create the packet as you want and send it away. Only problem doing that is there are no checkings to verify that it's a valid packet or not. So be careful when you do that. Well, we'll do a, a little exercise. Let's go ahead and try to ping using Scappy without using the uh, ping uh, functionality given to us by the operating system. Let's exit out of here and have Wireshark running. So we can see what we're doing. I'll start capturing my wireless interfaces traffic. So there it is running. I'll come back here and run Scappy again. Let's create an ICMP packet, call it ICMP and call CMP function to create that. So if we look at the ICMP packet we just created, it looks something like this. So it set the type to echo request exactly what we want. So there's nothing to be changed there. And we'll create our IP packet and call it IP. So look at uh, look in there what we have well we have the source and destination set to 127001 which is not good for us let's set the destination to my router's IP address which is 192.168.100 and 200 if we look at the settings of the IP packet again now we see that the destination is set to 200 and the source is set to my laptop's IP. So it's all done for me. All I have to do now is call send with IP and ICMP. Well, if I can put the slash on the correct side. Well, it says one packet sent. Well, furthermore, I can specify what interface I want to use. In my case, I'm using wireless uh, WLAN 0. So I say my interface is WLAN 0. So there you go again. Well, there are quite a few packets if we stop the 
Wireshark and run it again to avoid the confusion. See, you can see it's monitoring the WLAN zero interface. And if we run it and execute our function, well, there you go. We have sent our ICMP request and the router responded with an ICMP reply. Going to do that again. Well, if we've been looking at the traffic, we could have we would have seen that, but we weren't. So let's do that again. See. Every time we send a ICMP request, it send, sends us the reply. So there we ping without using the ping command. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon.